What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you 15 Cydia tweaks for the iPhone 5 and for basically any iOS device running iOS 6 or higher. Now I did recently jailbreak my iPhone 5, my iPad mini, and my iPad 4 using the Evasion jailbreak tool. Now if you guys missed that video, either head over to my channel and check it out over there or I'll go ahead and conveniently drop a link down in the description so you guys can go check out that video and jailbreak your device. Let's go ahead and start off with number one. Number one is SB settings. Now this tweak has been around for a very long time and there is a reason that users like to use this. SB settings gives you the ability to access all of your favorite toggles via a simple activator. So let's go ahead and head over here to our applications. And we can see here at the top we have SB settings along with activator. Now what this does is allow us to access our favorite toggles, our Bluetooth, our brightness, our data, our location, our process, SMS alerts, and Wi-Fi. Now we have other options as well as more, refresh, dock, respring, and power. Now next up, number two, we have Byte SMS. What this is going to do is give you a very in-depth settings page in the Byte SMS app. You'll be able to set scheduled SMS events, set a passcode lock, manage features, all with this tweak. Now I'm not going to open up the app due to the fact that there is sensitive information there. This is a very nice application if you're into setting event timers and message alerts. Number three is side delete. What it does is allow you to delete a Cydia application instead of having to go back into Cydia and having to uninstall the application all over again. Let's go ahead and take a look now. You can see here if I hold down Byte SMS, it does have an X on it just like the normal applications such as the YouTube apps up here. So what Side Delete does is give you a little bit more control over being able to delete your applications that you download from the Cydia store. Next up, number four is Dreamboard. All you're going to do is go ahead and tap on that application. What that does is give you the option to choose between the standard iOS format and OS user interface or to switch over to a different user interface which looks more similar to a HTC style phone or an Android phone. So you see here we have our applications down here at the bottom in a different fashion. You see we have one widget here on the side, a Facebook widget. And down here is where we can add our applications. We can also uh, add our information up here such as the time and date. Now if we want to head back, all we do is tap Dreamboard again and head into our default apps. Next up, number five, is Unfold. It's sort of an unfolding animation when you unlock your device. Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Go ahead and wake the device up. You can see here it says Fold to Unlock at the bottom. Go ahead and grab that and Fold Open. Next up, number six, is No News is Good News. And what this does is this hides the standard newsstand application. You can see this is an iPhone 5 and Apple ships the newsstand application standard with everybody's iPhone 5 and iOS 6 in general. Let's go ahead and take a look around. You can see here newsstand is not on the device at all. You can't see it anywhere. I don't have any folders. It's not hidden anywhere. It's just completely gone. Now to get the newsstand app right back on, all you need to do is delete the no news is good news app. Next up is Safari Download Enabler, and what this is, is it's not an application, this actually downloads into your settings. You can choose to enable the application. You can also choose to hold to download links, images, media, and videos. You can add to the reading list, as well as save an image, download in the background, save automatically, and delete after saving. Number eight is Swipe Selection. What this does is allows you to edit anything that you've typed in a more efficient manner. So for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and type Please subscribe. So normally what I would have to do is swipe over my text input with this magnification glass and actually find the text or number or letter that I inputted here and then choose to delete that and actually edit the text. And what swipe selection all I do is go over my keyboard and find exactly which letter I want to choose to edit. Next up, number nine is dubstep carriers. And what this is going to do is allow you to change your carrier logo into a couple different logos. So now you can see that I have an Apple logo here at the top and the theme of course is set to Apple. You need to enable this for it to start up and work. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the themes. We have Andy the Android figurine here. Once again the Apple logo. We have Assassin's Creed. Autobots which is like a Transformer logo. Uh, we have just a bunch of logos here. We have Batman logo, Beats by Dre logo. We have the Dark Knight logo. Uh, the Decepticon Transformer logo. We have, uh, let's see, what else? We have the Nero logo, the Nike logo. 
We have the Pac-Man logo, Stormtrooper logo, Superman, Triforce, and Windows. I've chosen the Apple logo and you can see that all you need to do is check mark the Apple box. You're going to need to come back here. You're going to make sure that this is enabled. Your device will respring and you will get your carrier logo replaced with a custom logo. Next up is number 10 and it is Apple Ad Ringtones. Go ahead and download this package. It is courtesy of the Big Boss repo. So once you have installed that, what you're going to do is go into settings, go down into sounds, you're going to go to ringtone. You see here that Apple Ad Ringtones has added a few ringtones here for you to choose. Next up, number 11 is Flag Paint Light. And what this does is every time a notification comes down, depending on what notification it came from, so let's say if it's an iTunes notification, it's going to show up similar to the color of the actual application itself. So it's kind of a color-coded pattern for your notifications. Let's go ahead and do a iTunes notification now, and since the iTunes application is pink, it'll go ahead and show up as a pink notification at the top. So let's go ahead and hit Show Test Banner. And you can see here at the top, it is supposed to be from iTunes, so it is the same color as the iTunes application. Next, number 12, we have Now Now. And what Now Now is, is instead of just using Siri as your voice activating assistant, we can now add an extra assistant, not replacing Siri, and add Google Now as our secondary or even maybe our primary voice assistant. Now first, to show you guys that I have Siri installed still, I'll go ahead and hold down the home button to show you guys that Siri is still active. So now I'm going to tap the home button three times in a row, and this is going to introduce Google Now. Next, number 13, Pandora Skip. Now, I can't go into heavy detail about this tweak due to copyright issues. And what this does is it allows you to skip the ads that show up on Pandora. So, for instance, anytime you choose a Pandora channel and you start listening to your music, you will get five songs to choose from. Now, you will get continuous play if you don't choose to skip forward on any of the songs. You only have five songs to skip forward to, and then you have to deal with a couple of ads to get through, and then your songs will continue to play. Now what this does, this is going to block those ads, so you just get continuous playback from Pandora. Next up, number 14, we have TV Locker. And what this does is give you an old style turning off the TV type effect when you turn off your phones. So let's go ahead and do that now. And the 15th and final Cydia tweak I'm going to be showing you here today on my iPhone 5 is called G Power Pro. And here we have three options instead of one. Now normally we have the slide to power off option. It gives us two more options now. We have the slide to reboot and a slide to respring, which are very important when you're running Cydia on your device. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this one up for me. This has been 15 Cydia tweaks that I'm running currently on my iPhone 5. If you guys missed the how-to video on how to jailbreak your iOS device, that's including the iPad 4, the iPad mini, the iPhone 5, I'm going to go ahead and drop a link down in the description so you guys can visit that video and be sure to jailbreak your iOS device. Now, if you have any questions on these jailbreak tweaks or these Cydia applications, go ahead and drop a comment down in the comments section and I will try to get back to you. Now, I'm going to make another video with 15 more Cydia tweaks, so if you guys are interested in seeing that video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if that's something that you would like to see, please share this video on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And also, let me know down in the comments section that there's something you guys would want to see. I'm going to have a link down in the description so you can subscribe to the channel as well as a link down in the same location to get a notification on your mobile phone and your mobile device every time I upload a video. So be sure to subscribe to that to not miss any of my videos that I upload here on the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.